order to meet God during worship, you must have a pure heart. You must have a pure heart. So the posture of worship is definitely a matter of the heart. God is concerned about the sincerity of the heart in worship. God is deserving of real worship for who he is to everyone, especially for the believer. You cannot expect to get God with impure motives. Psalms 139 and 2 says, Thou knowest my downsitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thoughts afar off. You cannot trick God. You can be in service and lift up your hands with praise. And there are people who believe you are sincere. However, God always knows the real you. He always knows. He always knows if you're pure and where you are with him. 1 Samuel 16 and 7 says, But the Lord saith unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. God knows whether or not your heart is pure for service. Many people desire to be used by God, but God elevates those he can trust to give him the glory instead of taking it for themselves. So there are two elements that help with a pure heart when we enter into worship. And one is humility and one is repentance. Humble means not proud or arrogant, but modest. Proverbs 15 and 33 says, The fear of the Lord is the instruction of, the, of wisdom, and before honor is humility. You must understand that the only one deserving of honor is God. In worship, you have to go to God with the understanding that it is His grace and mercy that you are who you are, where you are, and what you will ever become. God is the composer of our lives. It is not the good that we have done or the evil um, we will ever do or good that we will ever do, but it is all about his perfect plan and will for our lives. God loves you very much. His love is shown in Jesus, which is the reason we even have access to be able to worship him. Proverbs 22 and 4 says, by humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. This lets the believer know that if you desire to have a prosperous life, one must make sure that they walk in humility. God desires to bless you and he believes, he, he desires you to know how great he can be in your life. He will elevate you and um, he will allow others to see what God can do in your life. But it's with that humble heart. And next is repentance. Repentance is deep sorrow or contrition for a past sin wrongdoing. Repentance is necessary when going before a holy God. God loves you, but you cannot think that you can misuse him or his word. In our humanity, we will not be perfect. An attitude of repentance shows God that you realize that without him, you are unholy, you are perfectly imperfect, and you are in danger of eternal damnation. Ultimately, when you go before God, you do not want anything to hold you back from him speaking to you or giving you revelation of who he is. The matters that this is what matters. For example, David realized after he committed adultery and had Uriah killed that he needed God more than ever. He repented for how he sinned against God, even after all that God had done in his life. Anointing him king over uh, his brothers, allowing him to defeat Goliath, the Philistine giant, protecting him when Saul tried to kill him as he played the harp, and delivering him during times of war. However, when David sincerely repented, David ended up known as, in the word of God, as 
a man after God's own heart. This is the way we should want to be seen to God. Don't be ashamed or too prideful to ask God for forgiveness for things knowingly or unknowingly. Repentance is a gift from God to believers, and I am happy to have received it. When you go to God needing repentance, there's no need to be ashamed or too prideful to, to admit that you have erred. God knows our struggles, and he knows that we can only live righteously before him with Holy Spirit. Then, even with Holy Spirit, we may not always follow his leading or consult with him. Humility and repentance of the heart and mind is necessary for worship. You must go to God with a pure heart. God desires to reveal and speak to you, but he will only give to those who are ready to receive. All that you are and will ever be is because of God. All the glory and honor belongs to him and him alone. His love for you is the reason you are even alive today. The more you magnify and think on his greatness, faithfulness, and love for you, the easier it is to come before him humbly and with repentance. In worship, I always begin with worshiping God because of who he is, the I am God, the creator of this world, the lover of my soul, the sustainer of life, and so much more. The more I begin to worship God for who he is, the easier it is to have a humble heart. I am not deserving of the love of God and neither are you. We are all works in progress. I like to reflect on Jesus's death, burial, and resurrection. It is amazing to me that someone would die for me. Romans 5 and 8 says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. This is wonderful, spectacular, and heartwarming news, the gospel. It is good to know that no matter what I do, his love will never stop for me. He will continue to pursue after me. It brings tears to my eyes, just recognizing how powerful and how great his love is toward me. Therefore, there is no need to be prideful and not seek his face for forgiveness. So that is chapter three in my book, Meaning God and Worship. And I pray that you are encouraged by it and I encourage you to go and purchase the book. Um, you can go on amazon.com, type in my name, Siobhan Thomas, and you can find my book there. Um, like I said, it's only 45 pages, short, sweet, to the point. And I believe that it will encourage you to get into a place where you can get closer to God and worship. Um, some of the chapters include prioritizing God, eliminating distractions, humility and repentance, a broken heart before God, trusting God, beauty in silence, relying on Holy Spirit, and lifted hands in declarations. So, um, again, my name is Siobhan Thomas with the Life Blog New Beginnings with Me. And I pray that today you are encouraged to meet God in worship. Because in worship is where we get questions answered, where we get understanding, where we find our hope, our joy, our strength, our peace, where we can have some serious one-on-one -on -one time with God, where he can deal with the, the situations and the areas of our lives that maybe we haven't shared with others. Um, I posted something today and I said that emotional healing takes time. Um, but in the meantime, in the meantime, connect with someone else. And so you connect with people around you that are like-minded, but also you connect with God. God is the source of all healing, emotional, mental, physical, whatever it is that you need. When you meet God in worship, I can assure you that God will be there to heal you, to be your strength, to be your God, to be the love that you need and you will ever need. So like I always do before I end my vlog, I say a word of prayer. So I'll go ahead and do that now. 
Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you today for your love for us. I thank you today for your kindness. God, I pray right now that this has encouraged someone. Just me reading a chapter in my book, God, I pray, God, that it would touch someone's heart. God, I pray that they would be encouraged to even go and find the book and go and buy it. God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that they would find inspiration, that they would find strength, joy, and hope in you, God, because it's not about me, but it's about you. It's about them getting to know you more. So, God, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you right now, God, that the next time they sit, sit down, lay down, whatever they choose to do, to get to you and worship. I pray that you would meet them right there. I pray that you would embrace them with your love. I pray that you would give them the, the direction they need, the hope they need, the strength that they need to continue to move forward in the new that you have for them. God, I thank you for new beginnings. God, I thank you, God, that you're going to impact their lives, that they'll never be the same. God, I thank you right now, and I give you praise, glory, and honor for it. In Jesus' precious name, I do pray. Amen and amen. God bless you all. I love you so much. Again, my name is Siobhan Thomas with New Beginnings with Me. And I pray that you would go on Amazon and be encouraged by getting this book, Meeting God in Worship. I believe that it will bless your heart. All right, I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Please share if this has encouraged you. Just me reading a little chapter, Meeting God in Worship. I love you so much. God bless you. Bye.